What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Cairo. If you guys are new, I'm super stoked that you guys are here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Okay, so I have tried, I've tried to film this video two or three times. I deleted the first round. So here we are again. I have a crazy home goods haul. Quarantine, couldn't go. We moved and I have this house that I needed to furnish and I didn't have a home goods to go to. So I went a little, lot, a lot crazy. The last three trips that were in two days. It's a long story. But I wanted to share with you guys these basics that I got, some fun entertaining things, really good pottery barn and restoration hardware dupes, natural and organic stuff. Love it. I think everyone loves it, you know? We're just gonna hop on into it because this is kind of gonna be a long haul. So as much as I love like that clean and organic like look that I think a lot of people are gravitating towards recently, I also have a little bit of a beachy, British West Indies vibe. I don't know if you can tell. I have some vintage palm prints there from my grandmother. She had a lot of that in her house. When I tell you, I probably should post some pictures here because my grandmother, oh my gosh, non if you see this, she's the goals. She is the inspo for everything. She's my muse, honestly, because she's had cane furniture, rattan. She actually had these chairs and dining room set and sold them. Looking back on it, I wish I would have had them. You know, it's like that kind of stuff. I digress. One thing I really like right now, and I've always liked it because my mom was always collecting pottery as a kid. I feel like I naturally gravitated towards that more organic, what is the term? I think it's crockery. It is, it's crockery. So when I was looking for our outdoor entertainment stuff, I didn't want it to look too chintzy. As much as I love some of the bigger brands like Tommy Bahama, Nautica, Ralph Lauren, they do like a lot of patterns and color with their melamine stuff. I kind of wanted to keep the main pieces clean and simple and then I can accessorize with other fun things like with glasses or little dishes, things like that. So these are Tommy Bahama. They were $2.99. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but it definitely has kind of this like organic look to it because there is hand painted navy blue dots and stripes. I'll give you guys a close up. And it just looks like it was hand painted, which I like. Now there's a nice lip on the outside. It's clean on the outside, like clean edges. These were only $2.99, so I picked up six. I typically go for like six for this kind of thing. Um, so, stack of those. I just prefer to use this kind of stuff for outdoor eating, you know? And then I didn't want it to be too matchy matchy. There was this brand, and if you go to your home goods now, it's probably there because this was in three different home goods that I went to. All very similar merchandising style. This is the Sigrid Olsen Home Collection. Has that wavy, unperfect edging, which I really like. Kind of textured on, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up, but like the surface isn't completely flat. It has a little bit of speckle in there. They had them in this color, which was like the white creamy color. And they also have a set that has more blue, which, I did not get, but I did get that version in their serving bowls. I don't know if the blue's gonna show up, but there's like a little bit of aqua for the serving bowls. And I picked up two of those for $7.99. This is great if you're gonna do salad, pasta dish, that kind of thing. One serving tray. And the reason I got one, because this is something that you could put your protein on, you could do a little board on here. When it comes to serving pieces like this, whether it's indoor or outdoor, I like synergy in the pieces, but not necessarily the same. So I would also maybe do like a wood serving dish in this and then like mix and match with some other things. For example, I picked up this Tommy Bahama dip tray, which honestly looks like ceramic, but it's melamine. Has that kind of uneven texture. It almost looks hammered, like hammered metal on the, like here. I don't know if you can see it um, with the little, what do they call this? I'm like at a loss for words today. But you could do fruits, veggies, salsa, chips, 
this was $9.99. And they had some really fun things like with palm print patterns and some other nautical stuff, but I wanted to just kind of get the basics this time around and we can go from there. Another style that I really love and try to kind of mix and match is like that 60s and 70s beach club. I love it because it's how my parents, my parents like grew up at the beach, met at the beach, both grandparents lived down there. So like a lot of the furniture that was passed down had that aesthetic to it. And I just naturally kind of gravitate towards it. So these were very like Beverly Hills Beach Club to me. I don't know why it's by Illum Napkin. It's Illum, no, just Illum. Illum Designs, San Diego, California. So just thought they were cute on our, our bar, which I haven't given you a tour of yet. This next piece I saw at three home goods before I decided to purchase this because at first I thought maybe it was just too big. Would I use it? I want a wood salad bowl. But then I started thinking about how beautiful this would look as a salad bowl or just a big serving dish because food, in my opinion, looks best on white. It's just a personal preference of mine. This was $14.99 made in Portugal. It's a massive bowl and it's just simple and beautiful and they had some other large bowls dad's not home nope he's not i'm telling you he's not Koa. <laughs> what is it anyway and they typically have large white serving dishes but they have very high sides and i liked that this was a little more shallow i don't know it could also be a really great fruit bowl if you have a huge island with like a really pristine kitchen this would look awesome as a citrus bowl but I don't, so it's gonna be a serving dish. But I did tell Kyle that I wanted to redo the kitchen cabinets this September when he's away for training. If you guys wanna see that process, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys wanna see like a mini inexpensive kitchen makeover. I'm gonna paint the cabinets, change the hardware, maybe do the backsplash, just cause it's so small. I have been eyeing one of these utensil caddies for a while. And I couldn't get over the prices at Home Goods. I don't know if it's because, I know they're having like a huge summer clearance, but this kind of just seems like it was how they were priced. And this is Tommy Bahama. It's supposed to be a woven like cane. Uh, actually, this is um, Hyacinth, I think. Has metal, so it's actually pretty sturdy, which I like. I think it'll hold up over time really well. It feels really well made. So you can just put all your serving utensils and carry it outside. I'm not a huge fan of like having a ton of like American traditional farmhousey things. I like little bits and pieces, but I thought that the galvanized, I don't like it in the house, put it that way, but I like it for outdoor planters. I like it for things in like a mud room maybe. And they had really great priced galvanized tubs. And I've wanted these for a while to do drinks when we have you know, party. And they had this great set. I might even go back and pick up a couple more large ones, but I also picked up the, like a couple things to go with it. And I just liked the detail of the rope. Um, gave it kind of a nautical feel. So this is an ice bucket. This was $7.99. It does have a liner, which is great. It comes with a scoop that you can hook on to the side here. This reminds me, I don't know why it's got like vintage uh, fish town vibes like wouldn't that be on like an old chum boat or something <laughs> I don't know. basically the town that my parents grew up was like a fishing town so that's why i'm saying that they also had this cute napkin holder now i have a vintage 1970s acrylic napkin holder that i love it was my grandmother's but i thought that this would be fun as a set it has the nice little latch for the napkins, keep them down if it's windy. Has nice little rubber stoppers on the bottom. And I just thought it was kind of cute. And then I got two different size tubs. These were, the big one was $12.99 and the smaller one was $9.99. They had circle ones as well. These are more oval shaped. They, they had like puffy embossed letters that said cold beer on both sides. And I was like, oh, it's just a little too tacky. I think those will be great. Fill them with ice, throw your drinks in there and it's really cute item was this cute little dish that I'm storing our sponges in. So this is, if you want the brand, if you wanna look it up, it's called Grace Fine Ceramics. And they had this in like um, some other bakeware, but I thought that this cute little croquette was cute to have. I just said cute twice. This was nice, it's a better word, to store these in because I had a marble and wood 
board and it was getting water underneath of it and it was becoming a mildew situation and I didn't like that and I just kind of liked the juxtaposition of the wood with the ceramic and the nice little like brown striped detailing. It also has ridges on the side so it was very very Studio McGee in my opinion. I was on the hunt for a soap dispenser whether it was like a really nice apothecary style bottle. I knew I had a vision in mind. I couldn't exactly verbalize it, but I knew when I saw it, it would be right. So I picked up this beautiful ribbed glass soap dispenser, $7.99. It has a little like, it's not real, it's plastic, but like looks like wrought iron. So we can refill this. This is the honeysuckle scent. It smells amazing. And I love that we can use this forever. The home goods that I go to, they have a lot of the acacia wood, not as much olive and mango. And the acacia tends to look a little too dark, a little too round red tones. But then I found this. Yeah. This was gorgeous. Um, it's olive wood. I love the obtuse look of it and it's just a really good find. So have this up on our backsplash. I think this was $13 maybe. It was definitely a little more pricey out of all the stuff that I got for, you know, a little piece of wood. But when you find good boards, you gotta go for it. Cause sometimes they just look too new. You know, if you wanna go antiquing and do it that route, it's a great way to go. But I thought that this was really beautiful, so. And all the boards I have are like more geometric looking. So I thought that this would be a good way to kind of break it up. Okay, the last kitchen item very excited about because this again we're talking about the wood color here and the type of glass this has that very coastal oh, you don't even know what it is yet it's a cake tray i mean you could use it for other things it has the most gorgeous whitewashed wood is this not stunning this would be like 150 dollars at pottery barn or William Sonoma easily. It's so sturdy. The glass has that, I don't know, it's like when you see the coastal candle vases that have the bubbles in them, it kind of reminds me of that. It has nice legs on it. I think I only, what did I pay for this? 30 bucks, it's a deal. And the wood color's gorgeous, whitewashed. Typically you would find the darker ones. I mean, this alone, like without the, you know, the cake dome would be beautiful too. I love it, I'm so excited. Could you imagine how pretty cookies all stacked up would be oh, yeah. a few other things that i forgot to mention well not that i forgot to mention but they're already in their designated home so i'm not gonna bring them down the first thing this gorgeous framed tapestry now the wood is a little on the red side but our one bedroom i think it'll work really well in if it doesn't go in there I don't know where it's going yet, but sometimes when you go to Home Goods, you find things. You might not have a place for them, but you just know it's gonna work in your place at some point in time. We have so much renovations that we still have to do, so like it's hard to kind of purchase things when we're gonna be changing so much. But I just felt like it was a really good find and had a great price, so I went for it. All right, and then I found two, and this, honestly, guys, if you see these at your Home Goods, snag them. Because when I first looked at them, I was like, where are these gonna go? But I knew that it was the right things. They're paper, like handmade paper, framed clear glass shadow box with like a beautiful beechwood style frame. They had opposite like yin and yang color schemes. It's just beautiful. My mom walked in and she saw them. She's like, I don't even know what that is, but it's so nice. And I was like, I know, I don't know what it is either, but they're kind of a calming piece to look at and I really like them. And I think that they were $39.99, if I'm not mistaken. I also got two dog food canisters. My problem with the dog food canisters is sometimes they can be a little bit too dog themed. Like they have paw prints on them or like they're too cheeky. And I wanted something that would really go with the aesthetic of our house. And I actually have a pre-order for their food container because it was kind of an investment piece, which sounds ridiculous when you say it out loud because it's for dog food, but it's from Terrain and it's something that I wouldn't mind having out because it's just that pretty in our mud in our mud room or something like that. The other two are also nice. They're like whitewashed, galvanized with the wood. The only kind of like dog thing is the handle, but I don't mind that at all. And we're just keeping their like treats in there, raw hides, some other bits and bobs that we have for them. And I think that they're a nice little way to kind of hide the doggy things. The last two things to share with you guys are two furniture pieces that I really was excited about. So our guest bedroom is kind of a mix between East and West Coast 70s beach club. Um, 
everybody in my family either like surfed, windsurfed, water skied, like very water sport type of family sailing you name it so that influence was a major again no one's there so i didn't want it to look too boho and i didn't want it to look too nautical so there's kind of this like fine line here but i found this lounge chair with the light wood it kind of has an adirondack style arm and leg situation but then this really nice like tufted linen striped blue striped canvas situation for the seat cushions it was beachy it was nautical it was kind of vintage looking and i absolutely loved it and for 99 dollars, i no just kidding it was not 99 dollars. it was 199 dollars. i just knew it was really unique and i we needed it so i purchased that following day i went to another home goods and i have been eyeing the serena and lily nightstands the woven rattan style for like two thousand dollars and i found this one for 99 dollars. i had them call all of the other home goods to see if more were available they were not but apparently non told me that she went and they had two of them and i was like why didn't you tell me i would have grabbed them but it's okay i think having one is kind of unique in the sense that you don't really need to have two it might look a little crowded in there with the chair and i think the room's starting to really come together so it was a great find i also got a few bed items the first one was this like muslin cotton throw with this really pretty light blue and cream stripe kind of reminded me of the i think it's Kuyuchi brand which has gorgeous muslin and linen blankets but they're very expensive this one was $25 and it's gorgeous i also picked up two kind of more boho indigo colored pillows with tassels for the guest bedroom i just need a couple more like simple ones to kind of turn down the boho vibes in there and bring it back to like a cleaner organic look so that was my home goods haul i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the mix match hodgepodge of items. I'm really getting into like our getting things done in our house again. It kind of took a little bit of a lull and now we're, we're back to business. So I have a lot of like home decor videos, some DIYs, room transformations that I wanna share with you guys. So definitely subscribe if you have not already and turned on the notifications so you never miss a video. Don't forget to follow along on social because I've been posting a lot of workouts and recipes. Excuse me, Koa. I also am going to be sharing some summer favorites with you guys as well as like a summer fashion and accessories haul So definitely stay tuned for that because I have a lot of fun basic pieces as well as some really like, really unique um, Items that I've found and have great deals for you guys as well So you don't want to miss that but as always I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in the next video